We'll go ahead and get started. We'll start off with Mike Singer. Hey, Michael. Um, they had six guys in double figures. You guys only had two. Obviously, Jamal and Joker were special. Uh, was this just a case of not having enough production elsewhere? Um, yeah, I think that was definitely part of it. You know, uh, obviously, Nicola and Jamal were uh, terrific. Jamal, especially in that first half, Joker throughout. Um, you know, but yeah, their, their scoring was a lot more well balanced. And we had some guys that had some, some tough nights, you know, shooting the ball. A couple of the craziest numbers, man, in the paint, we only shot 42%. We were 20 of 47. So our finishing numbers were really bad. And the other number that jumps out, we had rebounded them by 16, 23 offensive rebounds, only converted those into 14 points. We were six of 22 and second chance opportunities, I think, which is 27%. Uh, so we had chances, we had looks, um, but we definitely weren't able to uh, convert. And, uh, you know, they're a good team. And, uh, first quarter, they hit seven threes. After that, they, they hit four in the second quarter, then they hit four more in the entire second half. So did a much better job throughout the game of defending the three, but um, when we defend, we're a good team. And we, we did a poor job of defending tonight. Is that it? No, sorry about that. We'll go to Katie Wingy next. Coach, I want to talk about those misses that were that close to the basket. What do you attribute that to? Is it a lack of focus? Is it the pressure that Utah puts on the, from their defense? What do you think that was tonight that caused those misses? Yeah, uh, good question, Katie. Obviously, you have a, I'll have a much better feel after watching the film, but I'm sure it was a combination of what you mentioned. Uh, the Rudy Gobert factor, you know, knowing that he is a premier shot blocker. So when you play against some of those guys, sometimes you're looking around, you're anticipating, you rush. Uh, maybe some of it was a lack of focus. And, you know, we work on finishing a lot in practice, always telling our guys to take pride in our finishing. And tonight was a, was a really tough night in that regard. Uh, in the paint and on those offensive rebounds, our guys played hard as hell tonight. Like, I, I'm proud of the effort. I'm proud of our guys. You know, uh, obviously, it's always sucks to lose a tough loss to a division opponent. That team is playing very well. Um, so it wasn't from a lack of effort, you know, but you, you got to be able to convert and finish some of those. And you know, a couple of big plays here and there. You know, we got a, a steal. Mike Conley strips Nicola from behind. They hit a three. Jordan Clarkson hits a big three in front of their bench at the end of the shot clock on an out-of-bounds play. Donovan Mitchell, who we did a pretty good job on all night long, did a couple of tough shots at the end of the shot clock. So um, tough loss, but definitely proud of our guys uh, for how hard we competed and we gave ourselves a chance. We'll go to Leonardo Torres. Hi, Coach. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Coach, in South America, there is much talk about the minutes and the role of Facu Campasso. What is the role that Facu will play in the team? Thank you. Uh, the, the, the role that Faku is going to play in the team is the one that he's getting right now. Uh, he's an off the bench guard uh, who needs to uh, be a pest on defense, apply ball pressure uh, to, to get into guys uh, offensively, along with Monte Morris and PJ Dozier uh, to help run that second unit. Our second unit had been playing well. I thought tonight, uh, you know, to start that second quarter, to start the fourth quarter, Got guys, uh, you know, got off to rocky starts. You know, but Facu needs to come in. And unlike all the other teams he's been with in Argentina, in Real Madrid, he's not going to have the ball in his hands for 40 minutes a night. You know, that's just not the makeup of our team. So when he has a chance to be a playmaker, make plays for his teammates, when he's open, step up and knock down three-point shots. He made two more tonight, I believe. Uh, so, you know, just to be aggressive, be a good defender, and uh, to make his teammates better. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, coach.